Hello and welcome back to Exploring the Granular Oscillator Part 2. In this video, I will show you how to create a preset using long grains. All right, let's begin. I have the default preset loaded and first select a new sample. Just like before, go to the oscillator section and select the crystal pad sample. Great. Now, when programming presets using long grains, the duration parameter needs to be explained first. As a reminder, the grain duration determines the pitch of the sound. So let's change the duration amount to 200 and play a note on the keyboard. Okay, that is what it sounds like with one grain repeating continuously. So now let's change the number of grains amount to three to get three grain streams. Okay, let's play C3. As you can hear, the playback is louder and the grain density has increased, making the sound even more repetitive. To fix this, we can go to position and change the setting to 50%. This change makes the position start time in the middle of the sample here. See it? Okay. Next, I'm gonna show you the random position parameter. This parameter is useful when programming longer grains because it helps make the sound less repetitive. And of course, we want the preset to be natural sounding using the portion of the sample that we selected in a usable way. So. Let's change the value and have a listen. Great. As you can see, the grains are moving as a random group. The higher the value, the more range that is covered. And the lower the value, the less amount of range that is randomized. So now let's set the random position parameter to a value of 22% and have a look at the key follow parameter that is currently set at 100%. Okay, if we have a listen from C0 up to C5, you might notice when watching the waveform display window that the duration amount is different from high to low octaves. That's because with a key follow setting of 100%, the duration amount that is played on the keyboard is increased on the higher octaves and decreased on the lower octaves. So if we change the value to a negative amount, let's say minus 100%, the higher octaves are now decreased and the lower octaves are increased. And now if we change the key follow to 0%, the duration amount is the same from the lower to higher octaves. Okay, I'm gonna quickly import another sample for this layer. Okay, set. I'm gonna change the duration to 85 and the number of grains to two. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the playback speed parameter at the speed knob. The speed parameter is currently set to a value of 0%. That means the grain position always stays the same. So it stays static without any movement. Now, don't forget we have the position random set to 22%, giving some motion but still at the original starting position.
OK, I'm going to quickly import another sample for this layer. OK, set. I'm going to change the duration to 85 and the number of grains to 2. OK, now I'm going to show you the playback speed parameter at the speed knob. The speed parameter is currently set to a value of 0%. That means the grain position always stays the same. So it stays static without any movement. Now, don't forget we have the position random set to 22%, giving some motion, but still at the original starting position. So let's say we change the value to 100%. To make the grain move right or forward throughout the sample at the original speed and direction. Okay, and now at 200%, it's twice the original speed. Now, if the value is set at a negative percentage, like minus 100%, the grain moves throughout the sample at the original speed, but in a reverse direction. Okay, all right. And at minus 200%, it's twice the original speed, but in a reverse direction, just like this. Okay, now I'll change the speed to 10% and go to the pitch interval parameter. This parameter allows you to specify an interval between minus 12 and plus 12 semitones. Let's play C3 and set the value to minus 12 to hear what this sounds like. Yep, just like that, the second grain is an octave lower. Now at plus five, you can hear the second grain five steps higher. Okay, cool, that explains that. Now let's change the pitch interval back to 0% and dive into pitch random. This parameter is sort of similar to pitch interval as it sets the random pitch range in semitones and cents. If we change the value to plus 12, random pitch values sets between minus 12 and plus 12 semitones. Okay, just like this. If we gradually move that value back to, let's say, 0.15, the sound becomes just like this. Okay, let's leave pitch random and talk about the pitch spread parameter. This parameter simply detunes the pitch of the grains in semitones and cents. So now, let's have a listen to what it sounds like with plus 12 and minus 12 semitones. All right, cool. I want to point out for shorter grains, this parameter is perceived as a change in the spectrum. And for longer grains, like what we are exploring in this tutorial, it is perceived as a detuning of the sample. Here's what I mean by that. Let's have a listen when I change the random position and speed to 0% and the duration to 1.
Great, that's pretty cool. Okay, now let's set everything back. Pitch spread zero, random position 22%, the duration to 85. At the channel offset, I can offset the playback position for each channel of the sample. This can be useful to widen the panorama of a sound. So let's check out when the playback position moves right and left when the values are changed. All right, great. Guess what? We have learned all of the parameters to program a preset using long grains. Next, all we need to do is adjust the filter and the envelope settings, then save our new sound as a preset here. So, once again, I hope you had some fun. So let's end this video and move on to the next video tutorial. See you soon. Cheers.